Hello, this is Danny from CG Dreams, and this is a short video showing you how you can use the sculpting tools within Cinema 4D for pose morphs. Now, traditionally, you can't use the sculpting tools for pose morphs directly, but there is a workaround using the correctional deformer, and this is how it works. The first thing we want to do is select the object, right click, go to the character tags, and then select pose morph. For now, I want to disable the post more, but make sure that I've got the points mode selected. And I'm just gonna go to the basics tab and then disable this, just for the moment. The next thing is, is I wanna go to my deformers. And with the control key held down, I'm gonna select correctional. I'm gonna just drag this to the top of the hierarchy, within inside the um, geometry, and then below any skins that may be already there. Once we've done this, we need to pose the character to an extreme pose if it's going to be used for correctional purposes. In my particular case it is, so I'm going to go for frame 20 when I've got the arm fully up. I can now use the sculpting tools. I'm going to use the grab. I'm going to make a few modifications here. I'm going to keep this simple just for the video. Okay. The next thing which is rather important is to turn off the correctional deformer in the right order. We need to make sure that we turn off either of the skins and just leaving the correctional deformer there by itself. This is so that the sculpting has now been applied purely to the correctional deformer and it won't include any deformations that have been applied by either of the skin objects. Then finally, I'm gonna just turn that off. The next thing is I'm gonna go to my pose morph. I'm gonna enable it and go to the tag and I'm gonna drag and drop the correction deformer into the target from the, in the advanced tab. You'll notice right away that the deformation has been applied without any skinning. The next thing is I wanna apply this correction deformer to the pose morph by going to the right hand side, click on this little arrow and then click on clear. You'll notice that this icon has now changed in the pose that has been um, added see here it's gone to like a kind of firing range target next thing is we can delete our correctional deformer and we can now enable the skin objects we now go to the pose and we make sure that we set this in the mixing mode to correctional and then post deformers and finally we want to apply to animation so we go to animate and if it's not joint driven, then what we do is we want to go to frame zero and apply that frame. Make sure that's a zero. I'm gonna go to frame, I'll say around about here. I'm gonna apply a little bit of it there. And then I'm gonna go to frame 20 at its full range and apply 100%. And there we go. That's how we create a pose morph using the correctional deformer so that we can use the sculpting tools within Cinema 4D.